What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode, um, we got a good amount of gravy from what I can see. Uh, so I'm actually at the drift track right now and I don't have a drift car with me while well, I have Harold, but um, I'm not drifting him. So I'm actually at the track just to hang out and watch. Um, the panel wagon still needs a new turbo, so I'm gonna get that rebuilt really soon here. And then that car will be good to go, so I'll be taking that here. But I figured I'd just come today to watch and uh, hang out with good friends and uh, you know go for ride-alongs and that kind of thing. So I got a couple of Volvo friends here. We got Jake with his BMW powered Volvo and uh, Eric with his missile Volvo. We also got my roommate and good friend Oliver. He's got his wagon out today, so um, we're just gonna be hanging out. I'm gonna I have my suction cup mount, so we'll go for some ride-alongs and I'll throw the GoPro on some friends' cars and uh, just capture some drift footage because uh, why not? All right guys, so we're in Eric's car right now, the Swamp Monster. So a uh, pretty classic, you know, budget, drifts and lifts setup, kind of 740, M46 swap. It's got BC coilovers, it's got angle mods, Momo steering wheel, racing seat, uh, welded differential, uh, upgraded turbo 16T, as well as a, a little bit more boost. I'm pretty sure that's all for the motor. Let's just check it out here real quick. Definitely a drift missile Volvo. So we're gonna go for a couple laps with my good friend Eric here. it up from the Volvos, hop in an S chassis right now. So this is my good friend Stefan. Um, what's up with this car, dude? It's just a KA mobile, isn't it? Stock A, stock angle. Stock KA, stock angle. So it looks like a full-on street car daily. It is. Nice. Yeah. Okay, right on. Pretty clean. Pretty clean car still. <laughs> dude, I really like this. Uh, I love the brown interiors. Thanks. Yeah. It's funny when I was. And you got the matching, the matching seat too. Nice. Oh yeah. When I bought this car, I was like looking to buy like a piece of shit, and this is the first thing that popped up. Really? <laughs> I got the shell for 500 bucks. Is it like rusty at all, or is it like pretty like? It's like ridiculously big. Wow, that's crazy. It kind of bumps me out because I like literally bought it as like a thrash car. All right, guys. So Stefan's gonna lay down a perfect KA run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. No pressure. <laughs> We're gonna run away from Steven. Yeah. My oh. first car was a 240. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had a, I had a purple. A single cam coupe with a welded yeah, diff and coils. That's the oh, first yeah. car I ever bought. This has a 4.6 in it too, actually. It's oh, like, sick. I am cheating a little bit. Yeah, it makes second gear like a lot happier. You do second the whole the whole thing in second, yeah, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It can do third, but it's because you just go oh, third back yeah. second, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of lame. And like K's actually rev kind of high. They're like 75 or something, yeah, right? It's decent. Yeah. <laughs>
Beauty run. That's fun. Nice. Oh, it never gets old. You're driving like a true Japanese drift with <laughs> the nice straight note right to the wall. Yeah. And then the re flick. <laughs> it was good. It was beauty. Alright, guys. So, uh, Stefan's going to do a run with uh, my good friend Riley here. What's, your, what's the deal with your car here? What's, tell me about the setup. What is the deal with my car? Well, it is a uh, Toyota Cressida with a 1JZ in it. It's stock ECU, stock angle, except for some knuckles, and it's uh, got a sick-ass livery. And it's got a whole set turbo. That's right, it's got a whole set. Which is really sick. And it does have a really sick-ass livery. He just got that done. So uh, we got the screamer pipe out the head here. Um, we're gonna do some runs with these two cars. So Riley just blew his power steering pump, so he's out for the day. Stefan's trusty KA mobile is not. It's still going strong. It's a pretty nice S14. Just so you guys know, like I am a Volvo guy, but I'm a Volvo guy, but I actually like got into drifting obviously through these kind of cars. So um, I still do really like Japanese cars. It's not like I'm only Volvo, but um, yeah, this is a really clean, really clean S14. I like the Watanabe style wheels too. Looks good on it. Shout out to Stefan for the uh, for the rips in his car there. Um, good driving, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. That was fun. Um, so yeah, this is a really clean. Just to take a look at the engine bay here, um, he said you did, so he did swap another motor in here. Yeah. So this is like a random lower kilometers. Do it. It's so funny, man. When I see KA ads, yeah. why is every 240 or sorry, a 240 ad? Why is it always engine swapped with half the kilometers? Yep. Are they lying or is it just like? <laughs> it's true. I just fucking don't know how many kilometers are on it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. It's just funny. There's all. It's never original motor. It's yeah. always like a swapped into a cam. Never or... original. It's yeah. an S14J. Oh yeah, sweet. So yeah, good old 155 flywheel horsepower. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah. you want to know something sick? Actually, Pacino. these yeah. wheels were like recovered from the tsunami, and they no were way. stacked too high. And this one was the bottom one that was submerged underwater, and no that, that one was not. Like, ah, look, look well, at the difference, dude. Like, look, this one's mint. And the other one's all barnacly and full. Whoa, that's crazy. Like, it literally had barnacles <laughs> oh, on it when I got it. That's so awesome, dude. It had, like, some sea life growing on it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Sick. Team Hush. Quiet drift, loud style. When your tires are louder than your whole... Oh, when your tires are louder than your engine. What happened to your car? Oh. Well, whoever welded my diff fucking didn't do a good job. God damn, who did that? You don't weld your own diffs. You, no. you get it done I by only, a shop, don't you? People, I pay, people pay me to weld their diffs, I don't do my own work. <laughs> Wait, did, did you actually didn't weld this one? No, I did. Okay. I, <laughs> no, yeah, I did. I totally welded it. Okay. This is the one that came in the car. I see, I see. I um, so what happened? The welds broke and it blew out of the it, diff cover? It spit out one of the spider gears. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the look at that, guys. Wow. Yo, this is way more of a this is a way more manly exhaust than you had before. You see, guys, Jake had a muffler before. Now he simply 
doesn't. If you guys don't know, but I did used to own this car way back in the day, like it's like four years ago now, five years ago. Um, it's actually right around the time I got into Volvos. So, yep. hey guys, so this car is a W58 transmission, um, pretty much a stock 1UZ, like a, an original, like a 1989, 1991U, first gen. Um, it's fully stripped out. It's pretty drift car, pretty missile, just seat time mobile. Seat time mobile. This is my dad's seat time mobile. This is his dad's seat time mobile. And because Riley's car broke today, um, what happened to it again? Power steering. The power steering. That's uh, right. That's right. Um, so I work yeah. on my dad's car, so you know I get to use his car when mine craps a bit. Perfect. Hey, there you <laughs> it go, works out. <laughs> it's really cool to see this this thing still sliding. I remember drifting. Like the drifting and invitational like 20 freaking i don't know 2014 or 15. This, this car's been like a drift car for like over 10 years a while yeah for sure it, yeah over yeah over totally years, sure. so this is still the same motor like from when i had same it. motor nothing's changed and this is the same motor from when it was originally built 10 years ago yeah, yeah these are these are good motors all that we've done is had to change the starter motor and which is no fun. Oh, it's that's right. The starter's in, in the middle of the thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, you have to take everything off. Yeah. <laughs> So this is my good friend Dylan. Um, this is his Nissan drift truck that he daily drives to work at Post Safe Performance every day. Hell yeah, I do. So uh, what's the deal with this thing? Like a stock motor KA or something? Stock single cam, single 460 cam. rear end gear. So we're talking like 85, 90 wheel, 95, 100. 108. 108. You dynoed this. I dynoed it. Nice. <laughs> so it's got like a welded diff and some front end mods of some sort. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Alright, they want to get to Tandemic, so I'm gonna hop in. Let's see uh let's see what this little daily driver drift truck can do.
right guys, so that was a really fun day. Um, it was really dope to get to throw around Dylan's truck. Um, I don't know if I got it though. The only thing is that <laughs> the video is on time lapse. We're gonna see if we can edit that and make it all good, but the sound might not be there. But anyway, so um, yeah, stuff to come for the channel guys. Um, we're gonna actually put the traction bars on the truck uh, tomorrow. So then we are planning on taking the truck to a secret drift location and making a really cool video with that. Um, and then once I get the turbo on the wagon, I'll be bringing it to the drift events. And uh, you know, once the, uh, once the pandemic ends, I'm hoping to uh, take the wagon and do a full drift trip all the way down to California. Um, you know, put a bed in the back of the wagon and a couple sets of tires and a bunch of stuff. Um, my computer, my, um, you know, so I can edit videos on the road and my GoPro and a couple cameras and that kind of thing. Um, so I want to do that eventually, hoping the I'm hoping the borders open up eventually, so that would be really cool if I can do that before the summer is ended. Um, but we're gonna see how it goes. So I'll leave it there for tonight, guys. Um, yeah, it was really dope to uh, get to drive in all the, you know, the Cressida. Um, really cool car with a 1UZ V8 and a Cressida. Uh, as well as Stefan's 240SX with a pretty much factory KA in it. Um, still, it's it's cool that a 240SX with a you know a bone stock KA, a welded diff and uh, set of coilovers. That's a super good um, beginner drift car. It always will be, and it always has been. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'll leave you there. Like and subscribe for Volvo Soup. Peace out.